Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR and main proprietor of the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So, um, I, I know, I know. You're looking at this and you're like, what? Why is there this anonymous email up on the screen? Well, I didn't even know I had some anonymous emails. I, I thought I might and I looked for them. And they weren't in my spam folder, and they weren't in my regular Gmail, but they were apparently uh, flagged as promotions. Figure that one out. So this one I got on Saturday. Saturday. Dead tell no tales. Now, I get emails. That, and there's a timeline here. It's all important. But I've got emails from me and from Don Samora. Well, at least we received them, I should say. Why are you acting like sheep with Don? Don's daughter never died. She is alive. Okay. He uses it as a way to get sympathy. Now, by the way, I don't even know if I have it. I don't think I have this one from Don. But there is one where... This individual threatens to tell Don's wife, who was there when Don's daughter passed, that the daughter never passed. So, uh, whoever's writing these emails, by the way, besides we're gonna, the well, besides the delusional aspect, um, we're going to go over the de seven deadly sins and we're going to start ticking off boxes. So, you know, I just think that's it. it um, I find that entertaining. But in any case, his daughter is alive and well. Don does have um, another daughter. Yes. But he is a real con man to make you all feel sympathy for him. His lies flow like water. Oh, his lies flow from his mouth like water. You are being used for sympathy, so you do your videos helping him. I, like, well... This video is actually to entertain me, but in any case, his lies are a grift on the gaming community, and the video is being posted soon. By the way, whoever's behind these anonymous emails, the same person or persons that are behind the uh, new uh, Twitter account, Ghost of TSR, uh, uh, which one of those people that's involved in this, I'm damn well sure, was also Chad Revenge. Um, this is so disjointed when you see the follow-ups. Don also send you emails to himself. Okay. Don also sent... The, the English just kind of kills me. Uh, you know what? And, and I'm just going to... They could be foreign-born. All right, they, they could they could be an immigrant for all I know. Don also send you emails to himself attacking himself, and Tommy helps him. They work together to fool you. Smarten up, Tenkar. Now, by the way, now look look at this one, and this is important to remember. This Don and Tommy are working together to fool me. Keep that one in mind. Smarten up, Tenkar. Stop being a fool. Don and Tommy are playing you like a fool. Don's daughter is alive. She never died. If you do a story about this, certain things may be dropped and save you money. Think about that. Wow. All right. All right. So, in any case, that was uh, 9.15 Saturday morning. Now, I did a video, and I kicked off the video with mentioning uh, an upcoming project from Don Samora. It's going to be hard to read, but I've got a copy on the side that I can read from. But I didn't realize that three minutes after this email was sent to Don, I got my own email. But, court, listen, cuck boy. You make that game, you will... And now it's all caps. 
be fucking sued into the ground. I will burn your business down legally. You will owe me your house and all sales. You are not to make Dungeon Crawl. C-R-A-W-E-L. You go too far, cook. Your fat whore, slut, skank. Wow, it's a lot of words. Wife selling her ass on a corner to pay my legal fees. You do not, you do not do that. Remove all imagery, all everything tonight. Okay. Now, I did not realize, and I apologize for that, but I did not realize that I actually had an email awaiting for me. So, found it today. Three minutes later, Don got Don's arrived at 8.44. Mine arrived at 8.47 p.m. Stop NPW. Okay, and stop NPW. What is that? Well, I think actually um, it is fat fingers for now. Um, but, you know, when you, when you use that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. I see. All caps. I don't even get. I don't even get. Right next to it. I don't even get the politeness of starting out in a normal voice. You will. <coughs> you will remove all imagery of Dungeon Crawl, properly spelled this time, from your shit cuck chat. He likes. It. For uh, you know what? I believe. I believe this person self identifies as a cuck. I'm just saying that because, He's a cup, uh, well, it, to you know, I'm just saying this individual likes to use the word, uses it all the time, and I believe they are a cuck in denial. But I could be wrong. Um, from your shit cuck channel now tonight, Don Samora, the criminal, will not be making any game like that. He will be fucking sued. Classic spelling, S U D E, into zero nutting. N O T I I N G. No joke. No one is touching that game. Is, is not yours to report on. You do not have permission, P E R M O I S S I O N, to Porsche. It's like Porsche. P O R S R T images or anything. Stop now. And then their finger kind of got stuck on the exclamation point. So, again, I found that today. Now, the reason why I even found those two emails, hiding in my email today, is because Don got another anonymous email. Now, remember the last one that he got was over the top. And the one I got prior was to make me, what, not trust Don and Tommy because Don and Tommy are working against me. Well, here you go. Did you know Kim Winson tells people you are the one with the Twitter account because you want attention? Mm -hmm. Slowly things are closing in on you as lives only last so long. And then they unravel. Well, that is true. That is certainly true. Everyone knows you are revenge, Chad. By the way, R should be capitalized, but I guess I'm not going to be too picky. But yeah, Don is not revenge, Chad. Uh, you are the Facebook accounts. And worst of all, you attack your own daughter for attention. So he's trying, whoever this is, to put down to the Don's own mind about his own sanity. Probably coming from somebody who has a loose grip on sanity themselves. Um, what will your wife do when she is shown this? Oh, I don't know. She's going to be showing it right now because I'm. If Don hasn't already shown his wife, which he probably has, um, I I know that they'll probably be watching this. So they can be entertained. I think she'll be entertained actually. Um, I am not, <clears throat> or Michael. <clears throat> Or, David, ugh, I am someone close to you. And when I was shown proof 
And when Kim showed everyone his proof, I just was hurt and shocked. Attacking your own kid for attention. Sick man, you are. Eric and Tom Verrault know about this and have known for a while. Now, I thought that Don and Tom were working against me. But I guess Tom and I are working against Don. This is like a game of fucking paranoia. Oh! Oh, I think I think I hit I think I think I hit them. I think I got the money shot. Um um and when Kim showed everyone his proof, I was I just was hurt and shocked. Attacking your own kid for attention. Sick man you are. Eric Tenkar and Tom Verrall know about this and have known for a while now. You are not liked. You are hated, sad. Well, this person is transferring everything. So now, now to the topic of today's little show. Uh, in Christian theology, there are seven deadly sins. And I'm going to kick them off, and we're going to just look at them, and we're going to work on an assumption. We're going to work on the assumption that the person behind these anonymous emails is also someone with access to the uh, Ghosts of TSR Twitter account, the X account. Okay, so we're gonna work. We're gonna work with that assumption for this exercise. All right, pride. Well, this person is certainly prideful because that's their game. That's my game. Oh, there's there's a, there's a bunch of things going in there. But that's mine. That's mine. I, 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 I did it, or I, or it's, it belongs not to you. Okay. Well, um, all right. Uh, gluttony. Well, let's go back to the, uh, not just the eating steak aspect. All right. But gluttony also includes things like overindulgence, drunkenness, drug use. Uh, I would judge from the way some of these emails and and I'm not a professional, all right. So I'm not making a professional diagnosis. But I, if I was a if I was an active cop building a case, these are things I would be building a case to say, hey, I believe our suspect fits this criteria. So I believe that our our, our individual is somebody who overindulges in. Uh, Controlled substances or alcohol. Just putting it out there. Greed. Uh, 280,000 pocket change. That was on the Twitter account. Um, and here, uh, no, you can't have it. It's, it's, it's mine. Okay. So, lust. Calling everybody a, a cuck. Everything is sex for this individual. On a Twitter account. And other, and other anonymous emails making fun of or mocking the wives, the significant others, of others in the most derogatory way. Probably because this individual lusts after all these women and can't handle his own or her own or their own. I don't want I don't I don't I don't want to make any assumptions as to this individual's gender, but they have issues. Sloth. Well, um, this individual uh, can spend a lot of time uh, apparently not creating anything except for emails and, uh, and Twitter posts. By the way, their Twitter feed got hacked and everything got deleted except for their replies. You know, like all those replies, they're still there. So, I mean, it's a really bad hack. Really half-assed hack. But, okay. Wrath. Wrath. Uh, we're watching Wrath right here, right? We're wa You're seeing Wrath. Uh, okay. Pride. Well, I mean, the individual is trying to take some kind of pride in, I don't know, what, uh, I guess... I, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe they don't have any pride. Maybe I can throw. Maybe they fit six out of seven. Maybe the last one isn't really fitting into the categories. 
But um, hey, you know what? Tell me what you think. And if you are this individual in question, again, you're anonymous, right? Which means that your word has no value. And by the way, I need to repeat that. When you're anonymous, your word has no value. When you threaten, eh, I'm going to come out with a YouTube channel. Well, have at it. Maybe you and your friends can hold your breath until that comes. Yeah. Don't 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 wait too long. You know, I I'm gonna die of old age in about thirty years. I'm sorry. Um, so uh, you know, anonymous has no value. Anonymous has no legitimacy. This individual, whoever it is, gets upset because people like Kim Winston, like myself, and Tom, and Don. And David Floor and so many others uh, will talk about stuff, and they'll put their face to it, right? They'll put their words to it. They'll put their name to it. But, no, you know what? Anonymous, you do you. Because in the end, you are extremely sinful. You are extremely vile. And you are extremely worthless. And everybody knows it. And everybody knows it. Rich is right. So on that note, let me know what you think, folks. Like, subscribe. You know the deal. Other than that, uh, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll this dice, roll them well. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night, live stream. Oh, that's right. I got to remind uh, James Raggy will be live on Talking Crit. 8 p.m. Eastern. That's uh, 5 p.m. Central, so if you're on Central Time and you're still working, watch the replay. I'm sorry. I can't help you. But uh, it should be a good one. See you then, folks.